uh, g'day, this is just a little video to help you understand question 18, uh, 10b. Uh, so I've drawn the diagram as I've got it here, so a circle um, that has a, a radius of um, PQ, I think it was, and it also has a chord cutting it at some point, um, and the intersection is N, and it's perpendicular at that point, so I've got this chord A to B. And then it also says um, that there's a tangent, um, let's just get the question up. Um, here we go. Uh, prove that PN is equal in length to the perpendicular from P onto the tangent at A. So basically I think what they're asking us to prove is that this is the same as this. And I'm going to have a go at that now. Um, I guess the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line from A down to here. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line from this one here over to there and then complete, complete this sort of little triangle just there. Now I'm going to look at this here and I'm going to say that this angle in there between this line here and that line there, I'm going to call that X, I don't know if you can see that very well. So in there, that's actually called X, that angle, which means using um, the proofs that we've learnt this, uh, in this topic, this angle here must be the same. Now all of a sudden I know that these two triangles are um, exactly the same, they're congruent. Let me draw that triangle over here so we can see a little bit better. So we've got P here, N here, A here and B there and these sides are obviously the same. Now this side here will be the same as this side here, no matter where you put this chord, anywhere along, because it um, because we've got the diameter here, that has to be um, halfway th through the circle, and this chord here will have to be chopped in half. So therefore, this side here must be the same as this side here, and there's a right angle there. Now, if we've got two sides that are, that are the same and a common angle, which we do, um, then that means that the third side must also be the same. And it also means that all of the angles must be the same as well. And so if that angle there is X, then this angle here must be angle X as well. Now, I guess by inference, we can sort of then look at the other triangle that we're actually trying to find out um, here. So we, I guess, you know, PN is that distance there. We're trying to prove that this distance is the same. Well, again, I guess if we've got a common side that's shared, which is that side, where are we? Um, let me just draw that again. So we've got that side there that is, is common. And we've got this angle here, which is common. Oop. And we've also got the right angle that's common. That means that, uh, you know, because this is all the same as, as everything up here, that angle's the same, the um, hypotenuse is the same. That means that the other two sides, because the two angles are the same and one side is the same, that means that these two sides must also be the same as well. So therefore, we've actually proved that PN is the same as this one, uh, this length over here. So I hope that's helped. Uh, let me know if you've got any questions or if you can see other, th other ways of doing it as well.